soul family this is going to be a topic for my spiritually awake dark-skinned melanated male so if you're a dark-skinned melanated male who's spiritually awake like i am you probably have noticed how a lot of individuals always have it out for you because you're dark-skinned you're a spiritually awake dark-skinned person connected to unk life so it irritates a lot of beings who is not organic to this planet or the whole multiverse bro like bro let me tell you this like a lot of dark-skinned melanated males who are spiritually awake every time they do encounter family relatives it always be mundane boring conversations that's not even worth talking about it always happens with us dark-skinned melanated males who spiritually awake because i experienced it before you know what i'm saying i'm like bro these people know me for like since I was the age of six. How the fuck are you going to talk to me about the most boring, mundane things that has nothing to do with father and mother nature? That has nothing to do with my personality, right? I'm like, what the fuck? Why talk to me if you ain't trying to uh, get to know about my personality and shit? Like, bro, come on now. Especially if you the same skin color as me. That's the shit. That's the shit that a lot of dark skinned melanated males be feeling, bro. But we dark-skinned melanated males who spiritually awake, we walk in profit dark-skinned males. Bro, we see uh, we see our own dark-skinned relatives and other skin tones of family relatives. We see them like be, we see them be like all, all like, you know, connected, friendly with these lighter-skinned people. I'm like, bro, these lighter-skinned people ain't no different from me. They might got lighter skin, but what's the difference between them? What's really the difference? Cause I see a lot of dark skinned melanated males, bro. They get treated, they get treated bad in these Western countries, bro. Like a lot of dark skinned melanated males are a bunch of loners. Go, go ask a bunch of them that's spiritually awake, that's connected with African Caribbean spirituality. They'll confirm what I'm saying. Now these dark skinned melanated males who are Freemasons, they a whole different story. They're synthetic clones with no damn soul. But besides the fact, bro, a lot of dark skinned melanated males, a lot of people don't really speak up for them. You think you think you think you can expect a light skinned Dominican or a Afro Latino, a Afro Latina, a fucking Middle Eastern light skinned person speak up for dark skinned males who are spiritually awake? No, you can't count on that. So who's going to speak up for dark skinned melanated males who who spiritually awake? Somebody got to do it, and I would have to be the one that because I'm dark skinned myself, so I can actually relate and resonate with another dark skinned melanated male who's spiritually awake. Because dark skinned melanated males, they go through the most bullshit in the Western countries that a lot of people like to ignore. A lot of people just consciously don't be aware of, but they subconsciously be aware of or the shit just be all over the place, man. We we dark skinned melanated males, we know Western countries is not our home. We know that. Look at the ancient history, bro. Pharaohs, they never existed in no Western country. Pharaohs didn't exist in Europe. We know pharaohs existed in the capital, the Mecca of planet Earth, which is African and Caribbean countries. African and Caribbean countries is the Mecca of planet Earth. All the resources come through African countries and Caribbean countries, where, where it's full of these non-ether, melanated, indigo, copper skin colored beings. My family relatives never knew about that shit because they grew up in the Western countries as melanated slaves. I'm the only one who knows about this shit, about indigos and copper skin people, bro. Like, this shit is sad, man. But but I guarantee you this. Let a European person say the same things that I'm saying. Oh, that shit gonna get congratulated. Everybody's giving applause and shit because they're fucking lighter skin. whoop de doo But let a fucking spiritually awake, dark-skinned, melanated male say something. Motherfuckers hate it. Even their own relatives, bro. I'm like, damn, bro. This whole planet hates dark-skinned, melanated males. Why do you think so many, there have been some dark-skinned, melanated males who actually bleached their skin to fit in with this damn white supremacy planet? Like, for real, bro. This shit is, this shit, that's how bad it is, man. You know, the, the lighter your skin is, the more you're going to be liked by a lot of people. This shit is all fact. Everybody wants a European woman. Everybody wants a European man. The, the damn whole planet wants them. Like, these are all fucking facts. You ask any melanated relatives in the Western countries, 
Their preference for women and men is Europeans or somebody light skinned. That's their preference because of that damn Western culture. You know, because dark skinned melanated males, bro, in these in these white supremacy countries, bro, they are painted as the unintelligent ones, bro. Like literally, man, like bro, you know how disrespectful that is to a bunch of Africans and Caribbeans to know that dark skinned melanated males are painted as the most unintelligent beings so a lot of my cousins and shit right they can't they cannot accept that a dark skinned melanated male is spiritually intelligent bro this is with every spiritually awake dark skinned melanated male bro we all see this shit i don't know about these light skins these medium skins i don't know if they fucking see what i'm seeing i don't know because a, a lot of lighter skinned people don't speak up for dark skinned melanated males that spiritually awake they don't like, I guess it's hard to see the issues with, with with people that's not the same ethnicity, man. And I'll tell you this, bro. Like, the dark-skinned, melanated males that's Africans and Caribbeans and these Samoans, bro, they're the most attacked people on the planet, bro. The dark-skinned, melanated male that's spiritually awake is the most dangerous person to white supremacy. A lot of melanated relatives know this. Right, these melanated rails are Afri in the African countries, the Caribbeans, or in the Western country. We know this. Like, bro, I'm going to tell you this too. A lot of dark-skinned melanated males, bro, they don't really have fun with their melanated relatives, bro. Like, let's say, for example, a dark-skinned melanated male is like a good, a good car musician or some shit. Or he, he know how to fucking build technology. He know how to, uh, or he, he super athletic, but the other relatives, they not as athletic as him or good at card games as him or like good at building technology, bro. So he's the octopus of the family and a bunch of sheep. You see what I'm saying, bro? Like, yeah, we got spiritual beings, but bro. These dark-skinned, melanated males, they are a whole different level of spiritual beings. If you study non-ether beings, copper-skinned, indigo-colored people, you'll see what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. It's like dark-skinned, melanated males, it's like they're a whole different type of spiritual beings, bro. Static shop show proved this. Bro, what else do we need? Like, go look at Olodumari, which is a Nigerian spirituality in, in an African country, bro. Olodumari is a mathematician scientist, bro. You know, the, the damn, the damn knower of, he's the knower of time, bro. He's the knower of time. Alodomari is the knower of time, bro. He was a real actual person. Unlike the Jesus person who never even existed, bro. Go look at people like Hiru, right? Go look at, go look at Sekhmet. Go look at all these different melanated people, bro. And a lot of melanated relatives are so far gone to not even know about melanated culture because they know so much about the European culture. Go ask a lot of melanated people out in these Western countries. They know so much about Greek, Roman, European stuff because USA is based on European culture. Why do you think, bro, look at the flag of USA. That stuff, bro, that stuff is, you know, you know that stuff was the idea of a European that wasn't no idea of a damn uh, Native Indian. We never even met na Native Indians, bro. Where's their flag? Jamaicans got a flag. Haitians got a flag. <laughs> Angola got a flag, bro. Togo got a flag. Ivory Coast got a flag. Sierra Leone has a flag. St. Lucia has a flag. Trinidad got a flag, bro. All these African, Caribbean countries, uh, melanated people, they got a flag. These Native Indians, we... Man, come on, bro. This stuff is real sad, soul family. It's real sad, bro. We don't even know what to call it anymore, man. We don't know. We don't know, man. Like, if you a dark-skinned, melanated male that's spiritually awake, man. Like, yeah, you have the toughest... You have the toughest spiritual warfare battle out of any skin color person on this planet. Because you're a dark-skinned male. This is all facts.